Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Ross. This is part three of me teaching you how to copy a build to address to a ship to address with a little button. In part two, we did it with a macro. So today we're going to do it with VBA code. Let me get, we can get rid of this thing now. Hold on. There we go. Now it's just a developer lesson. Now we're going to be doing it with VBA. What does that mean? If you haven't done any VBA programming before in your life, go watch this video. It's about 20 minutes long. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started. So go watch that and come on back. I'll wait for you. Okay, macros are all nice and fine and dandy and stuff like that, but I really prefer VBA myself. Now, I'm gonna go turn that setting back off again. File options, object designers, and then always use event procedures. I like event procedures. I don't ever use macros. Very seldomly do I use macros. Um, there's a couple of things I like auto exec macro. Sometimes I'll use because you can use this to, um, to like, for example, tell if the database is in a trusted location or not. That's one thing you can do and you can only do it with a macro. Um, you can, there's a couple other things too, but now that we're going to do it with VBA, let's open up this button's properties where it says embedded macro right here. Just hit delete. That will actually delete the macro. Now you can click back on there and go dot, dot, dot. And since we turned on that setting again, it's going to bring up the code builder, which is the way life should be. So now we are in the copy, copy to ship to button click. This is the click event. What happens when you click on that button? All right. Very simple. We're going to do the same things we did in the macro, just in VBA code. So. We're gonna say ship to address equals address. Yes, folks, it's that simple. In fact, I'm gonna copy ship to to my clipboard, control C. Ship to city equals city, enter. In fact, I'm gonna type it in all lowercase, watch. Ship to, I'm gonna put that on my clipboard. All right, ship to state equals state. Now, notice it's all lowercase. Watch what happens when I hit enter. Look at that, see it capitalized the two and the state, right? And the state, that's called camel casing, right? Up and down like the hump is on a camel. And and yes, I, I know before I get a ton of comments, I know that proper camel casing has, it starts with a lowercase letter and then humps the other letters. And I know this, but I prefer to think that the camel has his head up instead of down. Yeah, I know it's called Pascal case. I get it. To me, this, this has always been camel case and it always will be. And I don't care if you don't like it too bad. Go away. <laughs> All right. Anyways, where were we? Ship to zip equals zip and ship to country equals country. Okay. Con counter. Where'd that come from? I type in counter so much country. Okay. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Save it. It's always good to throw in a debug compile once in a while. Debug compile once in a while, right? All right, save it, close it, close it, close it, click it. And we're gonna go somewhere else. We got some, here we go, all right. Click, and there we go, it works. Same thing, much easier. VBA is not scary, folks. Get, get, get to learn some VBA, it's, it's not that hard. Now, talking about our orders, because the whole point of this was to put the ship to address on the order in the right spot, right? Let's go to someone's got an order like me. All right, go to orders. If you if you print the invoice, all right, here's the invoice. Now the invoice is what you usually use for billing, right? You're gonna mail a copy of this invoice to their billing address, but you wanna have something so you know where to ship the thing to. Now you can make mailing labels, right? You can print a mailing label out or you can print a packing slip. Let's do a packing slip, okay? Now the packing slip is gonna be very similar to the invoice. It's just going to have the ship to address on it. Now the order invoice, if you design this guy, this guy gets his data from the order invoice queue. Let's go take a look at the order invoice queue design view. Get rid of you for a minute. And this has everything we need in it, except we have to add to it those ship to address fields. Is it gonna hurt adding extra field? No, no, you'll be, you'll be fine. We can use the same query. So I'm just gonna take the ship to information here. That was click, shift click on the last one, and then click and drag and drop it down there. Okay, save it, close it. Now we can use the same basic template 
to make the next report. All right, so take the order invoice R, copy, paste. Let's call this the order packing slip R. And now we'll just modify this guy, design view. All right, this will be the, we'll call it packing slip, right? Packing slip. Think it changed, slipped? I can't type today. Um, probably don't need to see that. Probably don't need to see any pricing in here, right? We'll get rid of the pricing. All you need is the item and the quantity that you're expecting to get, right? You can get rid of all this totals and stuff. Okay. Um, and now we just got to change this to where it's being shipped to. So address is going to change to ship to address. Come here, right? Ship to address, copy, paste. We'll do it this way here. Actually, let's do this. Let's do a little concatenation too. So you, we're all VB developer people here, right? Let's get rid of the city and state or the state and zip. Let's make this bigger like so. Open up your thing here and you can, you can keep this city if you want to, but I'm going to go into the control source. I'm going to go shift F2 and I'm going to say this equals ship to city and a space and ship to state and a space and ship to zip. And if you don't know what this is, go watch my concatenation video and I'll hit okay. And then the country can just be ship to country. Copy, paste. Actually, let's, I feel bad about leaving this one just city. Let's call this, because you never know when you might add billing information later and then you get a conflict. So ship to city, let's call it CSZ, city state zip. Yes, I know if you're in a different country, you don't have a zip code, that's a US thing. It's postal code or whatever, whatever you got over there. All right, save it, close it. Now this is my packing slip, looks pretty much the same. Uh, print preview. And there's my packing slip, all right? See that? We can do the same thing with the first name, put that together. You get the point, right? Okay, and we got our items here that. Now, let's make a button to open up the packing slip. Design view, I'm just gonna copy my invoice button, copy, paste. We're gonna slide this over here, make it a little bit smaller, probably make this one a little bit smaller too, so they fit, like so. Pack slip, it could probably fit packing in there, right? Sometimes I always think that I have less room than I do. All right, now this guy build event is that. Remember, we have to me refresh first so it saves the information in the form. So nothing is dirty, right? It has to save the information to the table, otherwise the report might not get the information. So we're gonna just copy that and then we're gonna right click build event here and we're gonna go paste and we're just gonna open up the other report, which is packing slip R. Save it. Debug compile once in a while, close it, close it, and let's go back in. Open it up, open it up, give me a pack and slip, boom. And now we're cooking with gas. Or in my case, electric, because I live in Florida and we don't have gas here. Actually, I do have a thousand gallons of propane buried in my front lawn for my generator, but we don't cook with it. <laughs> I have a gas grill out back that I got lugged a little tiny propane. I, anyway, okay, all right. If you like learning with me, if you like my silly teaching style and you want to learn more, I got tons and tons of developer classes on my website. Check them out. There's a link. I'll put a link down below you can click on. I do spend a lot of time with stuff like this in my full course, an order entry system, invoicing, inventory, shipping, all that stuff. It's all covered in my developer class. That's the example that I use in my full course because everyone can kind of relate to a typical uh, uh, order entry system because everyone's at least purchased something at a store, right? So you kind of get it. All right. So that's, that's what I teach in my course, but that's going to do it folks. That is part three of build to ship to for now. That's the last part, unless I get crazy and make another one later. Um, that's going to be your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something live long and prosper my friends. I'll see you next time. It's currently Friday, October 11th. And unless hurricane Milton uh, blows me away, I'll see you guys on Monday. I oh, know Monday's a holiday too. It's Indigenous Peoples Day here in the United States. So the next video will be out Tuesday the 15th. All right, have a great weekend. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. 
Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming as long as you keep watching them I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing free four hours go watch it and okay okay a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course so I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes and no I didn't just put the video on fast forward <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well now if you like level one level two is just a dollar that's it one dollar and that's another whole like 90 minute course Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay. Want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my access forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. 
You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.